What's up guys, Naman here and we are here for a tutorial of Casio FX9 and 1 ES Plus. So now, in this tutorial we are going to discuss the function of these buttons and mode and the setup functions. So let's get started. For turning this on, press the on button and to turn this calculator off, shift plus off. Now as we can see, there are markings with the yellow which are triggered by this shift button as the yellow indicates and the red markings like this equal to sign or B, A, C, D and these letters are triggered by the alpha. So now let's switch on this calculator and here we see the math which means it is the math display. Also now let's get into the mode. First one is the comp, second complex, third statistics, fourth is the base n. 5th equation, 6th matrix, 7th is a table and 8th is a matrix. Sorry, vector. Now, th this is the numpad, the decimal point into 10 to 1 x. This is the delete and this is the AC button which deletes all the things written. And delete is like the backspace. These are the function multiplication, division, addition, subtraction equal to and that's the answer which is stored into this calculator itself. Now this is also the calc button which is used to solve the equations. Integration with the limits going on. That's the fraction. Under root. So x square. x to the power. Anything. Log. Natural log. Log to the other base. Inverse of x decimal point into the degree minutes or seconds hyperbolic sign cos 10 and it converts into the decimal point for example 78 divided by 45 equal to this triggers the decimal into the fraction or anything you want now let's get into the mode setting first is the comp in which all the basic functions have are like 45 plus 89 you know like and second is complex I'm not gonna get into the uh, like details because I'm gonna cover it into the next tutorials coming on third one is the sets again next video fourth one is the basin for example it covers like decimal hexagonal binary and octagon again into the next video fifth one is the equation now that's that's a very nice feature because it solves and give us the roots for like ax plus by is equal to c equation three variables equation quadratic equation and the cubic equation again if we go into the sixth in this we store three matrices a b c and we can divide sorry not divide add multiply subtract or even find the matrix or determinant also now 7 1 is the table in this we input a equation for example x square uh, let us put it like wait press alpha then x x square then plus 1 equals to start with like 0 and 5 okay now we are going to give a step we are not going to get into it. Now this gives the value of fx. That means y of every value of x. 0 gives 1. 1 gives 2. 2 gives 5. And so on. You know the pattern. And now the last one is the 8th one. The vector. It stores a vector and addition, multiplication, subtraction and all that. Like also find the determinant of the vector solution. Now let's press the shift. And this is the setup button this is the thing i'm talking about math io math io or line io math io gives the natural as we can see natural vpam natural display so it's like division in the natural form like we write on the paper but second one is the line io for example let us go to the com settings or basic settings this also shows math but 45 divided by 47 this we are not gonna get the division part 
that's the basic difference between math IO and the line IO. Now again go to the setup, line IO same thing. Third one is the degree, radian or gradient. If you want to input the um, angle in degrees, radians or gradient, that's the same thing. Fix is the another function I'm going to discuss in the later tutorials. Science. Science is the function. For example, we are, we are using this as a scientific calculator and we are going to solve into the 10 to the power like things. So this is gonna not going to give into the decimal powers or like other things. This will give directly into the 10 to the power things. And norm means normal. Now I'm going to... One, one more time mode wait a second setup and yeah there is another page you can scroll it down by using these four arrow buttons and that's a replay I'm gonna talk a lot later A, B by C, D by C again in the next tutorials stat, complex, disc now 6 is the contrast button move it like light contrast press the left arrow button as you can see contrast contrast is getting low and that's the dark contrast now one thing to remember dark contrast will consume a great battery so like set it on the medium settings now button on this calculator and the shift functions above highlighted in the yellow part now let's first get to the integration but do remember to change the value into the radian I'm gonna tell you how shift setup and then the radian because if you put the degree inside you have to input the uh, angle in the degree it will be the same but let's put in the radian now integration let us integrate sign sorry sign and then we have to input a variable alpha and the x in the red so here we are going to close the brackets uh, input our limits and shift and there's a pi sign in the yellow shift pi and let's solve this and here it is answer is 2 now let's look around the d by dx into functions shift sign we are going to input a variable x now bracket close and x is equals to shift pi here it is sin x differentiation of sin x is equal to minus cos x and cos pi is equal to 1 so minus 1 now under root function under root 4 that was easy delete backspace 16 4 you got the pattern and then there's the cube root function shift 8 this will get the answer 2 moving on to the next button now the fraction button it's nothing it's just to put the values in fraction 45 divided by anything you want just if you press this button it will give the answer in the decimal places and now is the mixed fraction button shift and this 7 4 8 anything and this will give into the fraction if you want to again convert into the frac uh, mixed fraction part shift and this this will convert or press this button 78 divided by 99 equal to if you want to convert this into the mixed fraction shift and this okay it can't be converted into the mixed fraction so yeah that's why because it is less than 1 now let's try it one time 99 divided by something equals now shift and mixed fraction part here it is another one is the x square part you put some values directly and the square button it will give you the value same as it is cube to the power cube shift plus something you input the value and here it is this is the x to power something for example you want to find the 45 to the power 4 it will give a blank space and input 4 and here it is your answer 
similarly under cube uh, root of something you want to like 7 and you give the value like this so here it is the answer is the log function sorry log button this like log point 10 actually let us input 10 it should give you 1 and that's correct similarly 10 to the power something like 7 and here it is it's a natural log button and there is a shift to the e e to the power let us input 10 and here it is your answer this is the log to the base something for example you, you, you want to find log 2 to the power 10 and here it is because it is a to the base 10 and to the base e and there is the sigma button i'm going to discuss this later this is the factorial button firstly it is the minus one button we want to like 78 to the power minus one and here it is your answer and then it is a factorial button oh let us input some value 12 shift factorial and here it is now let us discuss uh, another button this is the npr permutation and this is the combination button like 4 shift p 3 that's 24 and 4 c 2 that's 6 I'm gonna discuss all other buttons in the next tutorial but let us first look at the constants and the conversions here they are these are the constants uh, these are controlled by the shift 7 constant and then the value from 0 1 to 40 these are the values given these are very helpful because they are the stored values for MPM and I'm gonna give you the guide for these ones and these are the conversions for example we want to know the value of H all you have to need is shift plus constants and the value of h is 0 6 so 0 6 h equals 6.62 into 10 to the power to the minus 34 atm shift constants for 0 atm 1013 these are the these have the units in the si units and these are the conversions in the inch into centimeter centimeter inch for example we want to convert shift conversion 0 1 inch 1 inch equals 2.54 and that's correct so guys thanks for watching our video and stay tuned for the more tutorials on this calculator and many 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 tutorials will be helpful in your exams so subscribe to our channel Mexus and follow our Facebook page. We are also now on officially Instagram. So do follow us there and thanks for watching.